Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. And thank you for being a subscriber. This video today, I am talking about the Gutenberg Editor Plus. Why you need it and what it can do for you. Hi, my name is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. For the people who are new to my channel, I can help you to learn easier. I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you exactly what to do and how to do it. Are you looking for the quickest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to create a business online? Are you a new beginner? Are you a new beginner? that knows almost nothing about the internet. This channel is for beginners. Show you how you can grow an online presence with social media. To what I call the DIY, which is do it yourself. The developers down at the Gutenberg Hub have very graciously put up a, a lot of templates and Gutenberg blocks where you can go and all you have to do is click into the image, copy them, go to your WordPress site, right click and paste and you've got yourself a Gutenberg template. There's a little bit of editing to do, but I show you how to do it. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to the video. Just one more thing before we get to the video. The Gutenberg editor is going away in 2022. So it's a good idea to start now if you haven't to learn the Gutenberg. And even though the, the classic editor is still around and it may still be around using it in a block, I'm not sure, but get to know Gutenberg today for the future. Gutenberg is a one-stop resource for you need to work with Gutenberg WordPress editor. Get blocks, templates, patterns, and learn Gutenberg and keep yourself updated with Gutenberg news, updates, and resources. Here you can subscribe by putting your email in. You can go over to the blocks Here are your categories, the hero, a slider, testimonial, team, feature, pricing, card, stats, content, gallery, FAQ, and logos. This tells you that this is the required plugin that you need in order to extend the Gutenberg editor for a a more advanced design controls for icon shape dividers and there are many more features. So you would just simply click into get this plugin. This is one way to get the plugin. You would just click into get plugin. you can download it to your computer and have it so that you don't need to come back here to download it if you need to put it into more than one website. And it will tell you Editor Plus 1.60 and then save. You would then go to Plugins, Add New, click on Upload Plugin. You will see a pop-up box come up in which you choose your file. 
you will see unpacking the package, installing the plugin, and it will tell you that it is installed successfully. The second way is to go into your WordPress, find plugins on the left hand side and go to add new. Type in Gutenberg Editor Plus. This is what it looks like Gutenberg Block library toolkit editor plus and I already have it active here but it will say install now you will install it and then it will say activate find editor plus make sure that it is activated and go over to your settings find your editor plus your general settings make sure the styling no cold visual styler is clicked the custom style sheet editor is clicked the blocks via Gutenberg hub is clicked and the icons library this is where you will find your blocks that you copy from over at the Gutenberg block library. Please log in through the Google Home app. And here is where you can add custom style sheets. If you click into blocks you can now visit the blocks library and here you can filter by categories testimonial team feature card pricing call to action stats I chose the testimonial you can choose a block that you would like to have in your Gutenberg editor and you would just choose into the image copy the code go back over to your editor click on add block and paste the code in here choose add block this will now appear in your Gutenberg editor in your blocks you can go back over to visit the blocks library you can get to the Gutenberg hub by going to the editor plus under your settings to blocks and then visit the blocks library choosing a template scroll to templates use the filter by categories to decide on what template you would like
and here you have a lot of choice even through your filter you have a lot of choice you can check out all of the different templates that are here for you I've just clicked into hero and culture. You can use any template that is here. Testimonial. Stats. Anything that you would like, you can use here in these templates. Click into the template you would like. Just click right on the image here. Copy the code. It will say copied. Go over to your WordPress. Click on add new. New to a. Post or page where it says start writing or type to choose a block just do a right click and paste so you will notice that this picture is not the same as this one and the reason is because the, the custom style sheet is different. It all depends on your theme. So now I am going to show you how to edit one box. So now I am going to show you how to get this to look like this. Once you are at your poster page, make sure you are using the standard format and then where it says start writing right click and paste edit a block you would make sure that you are in the right block you can change the border the box shadow the sizing the background the margin the padding the border radius and if there are any extras the shape divider and you can add custom style sheet you can use the slider to change the width size or you can type into this box or use those up and down arrows. You can also change the height by using the slider. You can also type into the box or use the up and down arrows. You can change the background you can use a solid gradient or a media you can change the margins the padding the border radius the shape divider and then extras it says select display and then it shows you the type of displays that are available to you. 
there are many things that you can do to edit in this Gutenberg block. But when you are done, you would then copy the styling and then you can very easily add it to another box in which it will have the exact same styling that you created. By paste styles in. Editing. Say you have these four squares here. Finish your editing on one. Copy the styling, go over to your next square, make sure that you are in your square, and then paste your styles in. Go to the next one, paste styles to the next one. paste style. You can put your section title in here. And then you can save your work. You could click into the uh, the block that you just created and copy as a reusable block. So this is the size that you want to be using. And then give your name. So we'll just put uh, front page block. Oh. block okay so I hope that you have found this helpful to you if you have found this video helpful then please give this video a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel for all of the new videos that I am posting. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.